Think you don't have any phobias? Think again. Some of the most common ones are not about spiders or heights. They're modern, specific, and surprisingly relatable. Here are some examples. Nomophobia. That's the fear of being without your phone, not just missing it, but feeling actual panic when you're out of signal, battery, or Wi-Fi. Sound familiar? Then there's tripophobia, a fear or discomfort around tiny clustered holes or dots. Things like lotus pods, honeycomb, or even certain skin patterns. It can trigger nausea, itching, or even panic in some people. And one you might not expect, globophobia. That's the fear of balloons. Often it's not the balloon itself, but the anticipation of the sudden pop. This is common in people with sound sensitivity or past sensory trauma. Here's the thing. Your brain doesn't care whether the fear is logical. It only cares whether you feel safe. That's how survival wiring works. And the best part, these fears are not permanent. With the right tools, they're very treatable. In fact, cognitive behavioral therapy techniques are the first line behavioral treatments for phobias. For more on how to heal your fear, join me at drjudyho.substack.com and subscribe to this channel.